What's up guys? Today in this video, I'm gonna show you why I prefer the old style Snap-on Crow's Foot to the new style Crow's Foot made by Snap-on or any other brand and why this one is superior. So you guys stick around because this one's pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro today, I'm gonna be showing you why I prefer the old school Snap-on Crow's Feet versus the new ones, and I'm gonna show you why and give you a couple of tips on why these may be worth looking for, and hopefully you can find a set and that way it'll help you out in the future. I've mentioned it several times in my videos in the past, and we've talked about it on the truck, while the old style Snap-on Crow's Feet is far superior to the new style, and today we're gonna be taking an in-depth, close look at why that is. So. Without any further ado, let's dive into this and we'll get you some close shots and that way we can explain it really well. Let's do it. All right guys, as you see, I have quite a few crow's feet here on the table. Uh, this is actually the crow's foot holder that I use. And you can see they're all the old style Snap-on. Well, I do own a couple of different brands. As you can see here is the new style Snap-on this new, hardly any use on it at all. I'll explain that why. Same with this one. You can see it's the new style Snap-on. And I have, this one is a Mac, as you can see the way they're made and the differences of them. And I have a lot of the old school Snap-on ones. Uh, when, when I talk about this in this video, I'm specifically talking about the larger size that's really going to pay off for you to buy the old style if you can find them. The smaller ones, there's still the same concept applies. As you can see, they've had quite a good bit of wear on them. Uh, these are far superior, and in this video, I'm gonna cover the points why. A lot of times when you're working with a crow's foot, obviously it's in a tight area. Hence, you could just do it with a regular wrench, right? Uh, the advantage of the old school snap-on style like this, as you can see, it's got a place where you can put your extension in the top of them, or you can put it in the back of them. Well, that back hole is really what sets these apart from any other brand of crow's feet made. Uh, if you guys can find these on eBay, you can find them. Uh, a lot of times you can pick them up at pawn shops or uh, places that sell a lot of used tools and stuff like that. If you run across a set of these, be sure to pick them up. The advantage of having the hole in the back of them like this, especially if you're working on hydraulic lines or anything where it's pretty tight, the space is limited. A prime example, um, I helped Jay Young work on a backhoe one time we had to replace all the lines where a stubby just wouldn't go in there and work on it. You couldn't get in there to it. Uh, there wasn't room really to come from the top or the bottom to get your extension in here on a crow's foot. As we all know, the hydraulic lines are not tight. A lot of times they're just big nuts and they're in pretty tight spaces where you have to break them loose. And this was on the bucket part of it, not the front end loader part. So space was pretty tight to get in there. So Luckily, he had an old set of the snap-on style like this that had the hole in the back and was able to take a short extension and place it in there and you just made a super, super stubby wrench. You're able to break it loose, get your fittings off and tighten them back up. That's why I prefer the old style that has the hole in the back. Um, prime example right here, you know, we have a uh, this one's a gear wrench, stubby ratcheting wrench. We'll lay it down here. And obviously you can use a shorter extension. I prefer using locking extensions and that way they don't slip off and you hit your hand or whatever. But you can see that's pretty much the same length as the half inch ratcheting wrench from end to end. And you can use a shorter extension, like I say, and, and make it even shorter. But the cool part is this one here is an inch and a half. Like that makes for a super stubby wrench, you know, and it works just as fine. 
these are really, really well made crow's feet. Um, you know, just the advantage of being able to put the extension on the end to turn it into a super stubby wrench is why I prefer it. I actually get more use out of my crow's feet using them this way than I do trying to use them like they're intended for a crow's foot. Obviously there are situations where you're gonna to have to put it in the top or the bottom side to make it work. And hey, that's fine. But the ability to put them here is even better. Um, I've noticed the prices have really went up on these style, I guess because people have figured out, hey, it's much more useful to be able to use it in a different configuration, like a stubby wrench. And they are getting harder to find, so if you guys search on eBay, you'll be able to find some of these. But, you know, it's a lot of difference in the thickness as well between the old style and the new style. And a lot of times working with hydraulic lines, that, you know, thin blade portion is going to help you out, be able to allow you to get in there. As you can see, the difference when I got them here, it's quite a bit of difference in the thickness. But that is the whole entire reason why I always keep on hanging on to these. Hopefully Snap-on will come back out with this style and that way it'll help a lot of guys. Maybe they didn't do it now because of the strength issues in them, I don't know. I've never broken one. Um, these have been around for a long time. They've held up flawlessly, but you know, that's just one advantage. You know, I wanted to pass along to some of you guys. A lot of people have been asking for some different tool tips and this and that. And I've covered this several times on our tool truck videos, but until you actually lay it down and show it to a guy, they might not understand what's going on. But like I say, that's my video today. Hopefully you guys picked up a tip or two on some of these crow's foot and know what to look for if you're going to try to expand your line and get some larger crow's foot. Definitely look around, find it in the end. You'll be able to get a lot more uses out of it that way. But that's it guys. Hopefully y'all liked it. And like always, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and check over here for merchandise, cool tools and all that good stuff. Video descriptions got a lot of cool tool links in it and some discount codes and all that. If you're not subscribed, click the button. It's free, it never costs you a dime. You guys have a great week and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.